Godspeed to the Speedy Tribe. How we doing out there, man? I'm back with a quick video, man, and I just want to spread the awareness of subconscious programming and how most people are programmed to the point that they don't understand it. They don't understand the effects of why they're in the positions that they are. So you know, you know how we got our, our brain, right? But you also know how we got our second brain, which is our gut. And it's funny how we say we have a gut feeling about something, which also stems from thoughts, you know what I'm saying, or intuition, whatever you want to call it. But on top of that, we have our ears, which serves, you know, or which can play the role of a mouth. They're open, they're on our head, you know what I'm saying? And from consuming things via our airways, right, we make our, our reality is what it is because that's what we that's that's how we feed our brain from the things we listening to. So you gotta also, and you gotta ultimately watch what you listen to on a daily. What you consume is very, 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 very important in contrast to how you live your life. The only reason the reason why it's so important is because most people are living in conditions, right, and are in situations they're in because of the music they listening to. The people they listening to, the words that they speak every day, the words that they tend to take in and consume every day. Just a lot of things that factor in. And that's part of eating with your ears. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch what you eat with your ears because what you eat with your ears is going to manifest itself as the lifestyles you live and the lifestyles you really hate ultimately because it ain't really good. So in order to counteract that and change that whole perspective and paradigm and, you know what I'm saying, flip the script is to rearrange the things you're listening to. You know what I'm saying? Go on a musical fast. I've done a musical fast where I fasted for an entire week. I listened to music with no lyrics, just instrumentals, right? You hear different elements and things, and it reprograms your thinking to think a certain way rather than listening to a bust-down song or a degrading song on how to demean people or kill people or demean women. Like, There's so many factors into that. Another thing is semen retention. You know what I'm saying? Preserve yourself and deprive yourself from certain vices that serve as detriments. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is speak differently. Learn how to eliminate cursing for like a week. Lim don't curse for a whole week. That's another way. Because also when you're speaking, you're also listening to yourself, which is another form of subconscious program, which you don't really understand. So you have to understand that too. You have to understand what you, what you, who you listen to. The people who you listen to on a daily, man. The people you talk to. The information you gather on a daily. How is that helping you? Is that helping you or is that hindering you? Get what I'm saying? So those are key things to watch out for in regards to subconscious programming because we tend to not really realize, we tend to really not realize how important these programs and these these devices or these things that we consume are. We don't understand the magnitude of it. We understand it. We know what it is, but we don't understand how deep it goes. How we don't understand how deeply how much we can shun ourselves without even knowing due to the things we consume on a daily. So what I wanted, what I want from y'all to do is to understand, enter, and overstand subconscious programming and learn how to re, redirect or reprogram the entire situation of what you are doing in regards of consuming things that, you know what I'm saying, either serve as a detriment or, you know, helps you. All right? Because this is very important, man. We got the ears, man. You got to watch what you putting in your ears because what you putting in your ears is what you putting in here. And what you putting in here is what you putting out there. And then it makes it a physical reality. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But we always want it to be good. So in order to keep it good, you got to put good in here. You got to eat good. 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 And then you got to eat good. Because if you eat good, you're going to be good. I'm rhyming and shit. But I feel great, man. Life is speedy. So go. Peace.